This market has a lot to offer. It has the showrooms, but these pavilions also offer a lot of handmade and vintage. And these unexpected finds, I think, in the pavilions where they're attracting smaller vendors. Everyone should buy at the pavilions because, again, it's all it's handmade, unique styles. There's just a great variety of items in the pavilions. Every time I'm here, and I've been here five times, I find something new. A new vendor, a new product from a vendor that I knew about, or something that's different. This trip I'm looking for home goods, so I'm looking for decorative arts, I'm looking for things that are artisan made. Lots of great handmade, lots of small designers, um, unique companies that I'm not finding anywhere else. Some of the best little finds that you're just getting introduced to are found in the pavilions. I got a coffee, I got in an Uber, and I went right to registration, uh, picked up my badge, and then this is my first stop, the Pavilion One. There's no other market that literally greets us from the time we get off to the bus to the time that we get back on the bus and is there to make our shopping as easy as possible. It's been so hot, so the shuttle is great so we don't have to melt in the heat trying to get over here. And the food over here is really good. They have Einstein bagels. If you haven't come to the pavilions, you're missing out on an opportunity to find product that's not gonna be in every other store. The things that you find here aren't gonna be in the mainstream big box stores. These are really gonna be the vendors that work with you to create something that's exceptional.